Welcome Virgo, we are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth Self Awareness Deck, the Oracle of the Seven Energies and Osho Zen Tarot. All right. Start with these ones. Soul Truth. Three cards for Virgo, please. Three cards for Virgo. Okay, let me pick these two cards up off the floor. Okay, Virgo, the first card we have is To Where Does My Soul Want to Travel? Second card is How Can I Deepen My Trust Right Now? And the third card is Am I in my head or my heart interesting full of questions Virgo full of questions so the first card reads okay when we travel we grow we open up our little worlds to more adventure thrills patience understanding trust and oneness our hearts and minds expand and our desires are satisfied where is your soul calling you to visit? Today's soul action. Pick a location on your desired list. Choose a date when you will get there and start planning. Create a Pinterest board or start searching on travel sites for the best restaurants. Anything that will create movement to let the universe know you are ready to make it happen. Believe you can. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Okay, so let's have a look here. Tell me more about this card, traveling card for Virgo, please. Where are you planning on going? Oh, I tell you what, can you book me a ticket? I want to come too. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Okay, three cards for Virgo, please. I love that idea, though, of looking, you know, at different, not just thinking, oh, it'd be really great to be there or dreaming of it, actually really physically looking at where you would go and where you would eat and even where you would stay, right? Okay, so the first card here we have is birds of a feather. Oh, who would you even go with, right? Who would you go with? Like-minded people? Hmm. Is it like-minded people, though? So everyone's on a different post at a different height. Or is that the beauty of it? Ah, yeah, it's like different lives. Different lives coming together, but still having different lives coming together for the same purpose maybe maybe for the travel potentially this here there's something here what is this It's kind of like you letting yourself out. you letting yourself out to play here, Virgo. Letting yourself out, not to play, but to flourish and shine, to blossom. In a sense, and when you, maybe that's what traveling does for you, you know. Maybe that's you giving yourself freedom. Interesting. Let it go. Oh, this is you opening up your heart. Opening up your heart. Is this a journey throughout your life? Maybe this is the, your journey of life. What do you want? How do you want to travel that and with whom? Right? 
let it go. Okay, let me pick this up. Let it go. So these projections here, we have projections. So there's something, there's something potentially that is you're keeping yourself keeping yourself from letting go because of there's something that you're holding on to that you don't want to let go of it's kind of like no you need to remember that this happened <laughs> you need to remember that you know there's this thing and it's energetically stopping you from coming together with someone else and there's the sense, Virgo, that it may feel like it's from the other person, but it's actually not. It takes two. Because there's this, there's this this sort of rope around this heart, and there's one bird holding on one end and the other one holding on the other. And they both have to pull at the same time to undo the bow and the knot around it, right? And maybe this is what brings the birds together. Maybe this is, maybe this, this travel is, yeah, who do you want to do life with, you know? And, but by doing that, I feel like when, when both people hold their own, that brings harmony, that brings in harmony, right? It brings in the harmony, takes you from your head down to your heart. Just like this card, right? Am I in my head or my heart? And when you're projecting, generally you're in your head. When you're in harmony, you're in your heart. So that might give you a clue as to what's going on there. A burst of magic. Look at this, right? Look at this. Rising up, see? You see here the silhouettes of a person rising up. This one's visible. This one is more visible. A burst of magic. Wow. That's all not coming out right. Sorry. Let me start that again. Two cards for a burst of magic for Virgo, please. Yeah, see, this is dreaming. This is dreaming about it, but not actually doing it. Or not allowing it in. Potentially not allowing it in, okay? Suppression. We have suppression here. This is all your dreams come true. This is what you would like to have fulfilled. But he's not quite living it. It's kind of like believing, oh yeah, I've done everything I need to do. I don't need to do everything else. I got hold of the rope. What more do I need to do? I need to pull it. I need to work with someone else to actually undo that. Okay, the work has to be done. Acknowledging it and becoming aware of it is not quite enough. The work has to be done. Okay, because these are the ropes here that are holding this person down, right? So once those ropes are released, the heart is set free. And you can then rise and flower. So it's been aware, it's been aware of that, okay? Right, good, 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 this is good. How can I deepen my trust right now? Okay, so this says trust, surrender, let go of the wheel. You can trust, you can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety and when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Let go and trust. This is your action for today, sorry. Let go and trust. Today, find your centre in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others. Yeah, because how do you trust anyone else if you don't trust yourself, right? And I want to add to that, the inner child work must be done because if your inner child doesn't trust you, the adult, you will never trust yourself and therefore... You will never trust anyone else. Hmm. 
Virgo. Important work to be done. Don't feel like how that came out. Trust. Tell me more about this. Virgo, please. land on the table already <laughs> okay I'm gonna take this one here alrighty so I'll pick this up okay so Virgo first we have a quieting the mind quieting the mind going into meditation letting letting that um, alignment take place within you okay two cards for quieting the mind yeah, receptivity. This is allowing this alignment to come through, okay? And allowing the guidance to come in. This is this internal guidance so that you can actually hear it because we have all the answers within us that we need. It's all it's all there. So often we go searching outside of ourselves for the answers, but if we truly come into the heart, there's everything that we need there. We don't need to look outside of ourselves for that. Shining through. Yes, yeah, see? Shining through. This is the inside of yourself shining. When you tap into that and are receptive to that alignment happening, you will shine through. This is this trust. Surrendering to the trust of yourself. Because once you do, you will shine. Okay, so two cards for shining through. There you go. Yep, fighting. This is about you needing to take off the armor because the armor has has for so long um, been something that you've carried around to protect you. And um, but inside the armor, be, there's been this internal battle going on because there's so much of you that would like to release the armor because it's heavy. It's heavy to carry around and it's tiring. And it's hot and sweaty and it's like, oh, do I really have to drag this around any longer? No, you don't. It's a choice now. This is a choice. The battle is over. It, 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 it's, it's done. You know, the knight wears the armour to go into battle. The knight doesn't live his life in his suit of armour. When the battle is done, he removes the armour and continues on. So I think it's really important for you, Virgo, to look at why do I still feel the need to be in my suit of armour here? What am I battling? Who am I battling? Because potentially you may find the only one in battle is actually yourself. No one else is trying to battle you. Okay, and this is going to allow you to truly shine the truth of who you are to come out. And maybe you're still yet to discover who that is. Maybe you're not. But there's a beautiful piece of music inside of you that wants to be played. So it's time to let it come up and out and shine through. Okay. Beautiful uncaging. Look at this. This is of your heart. Yeah. Beautiful uncaging. Oh, I love this. This is what the armor is protecting, I feel. Wow, that's gorgeous. Tell me more about this beautiful uncaging. And this is trusting and surrendering. Connection. Look at this. Connection. Trusting. See, this is it. You've taken all the time that you need in order to do what you need to do. And now it's time to actually allow your world to be coloured in. You've rested. You know, it, it could still be that there's a little bit of healing to do. And maybe the beautiful uncaging is the healing. For some of you. Okay. And things take work. The trapezes. The trapezes? The trapeze. The trapeze artists. Don't get to do this in a split second. They have to practice and practice and put in the hard yakka and train and trust. They have to trust. It's a team effort. 
the people who are on the ropes are just as important as the person doing the trick, if not more important. So always remember that. It takes a team, not just one person. So if you are working in a team and there is someone, even if it's yourself, who gets all the credit, make sure that you distribute that credit. Okay? And when we're talking about a team, you have a team of guides, a team of angels here, there, to guide you. Okay? Call on them. Ask them. Thank them. Be grateful for them. Okay? Am I in my head or my heart? What is the quality of your self-talk? Our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life. Where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen. Today's soul action. Today, master your mind. Watch an inspiring video. Do some tapping. Read an empowering book. Or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. Oh, I love that. Oh, I really love that. Right? It's not just about looking at your dreams and all that. It's why do you want them? What is it What is it that, that gives you that yearning, that, that ignites that fire within your soul to want to bring that into your existence? Yeah? What is that about? Love, love, love it. Okay, so tell me more about the mind heart. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I've got the wrong cards here, but I'm going to take these two. Right, let me get the other cards first. Three cards for mind and heart. The Virgo. Okay, so this is the first one. Wow. Wow. Okay, so it is what it is. It is what it is. This, I feel, um, Virgo, is about you. Going forward. There's this going for propelling forward into your life. It's kind of like going through the vortex, right? But there's a door here, and the door is shut. I want to say that not everything is as it seems because the door is shut. But the energy surrounding the door is active and it's evolving and it's revolving. It's like a revolving door, but it looks like a door that's shut and locked. But it's not. But like your heart. It is what it is. It is what it is. We have these two cards pop up here. I love this. I love this. Because this is really about you letting go of that cage that you've put up around this heart here. To stop yourself from being hurt. To keep everything in order. To keep everything in control. In your life, in your entire life. This is not just about relationships. This is about everything. But probably relationships for a lot of you. I'll get everything else sorted. And I'll be fine. But the truth of the matter is, Virgo, that in order for you to create what it is that you want to create in your life, cage has to come down the hands have to be untied the heart has to be released yeah you have to undo the ropes undo the ropes okay this is about you creating being the creator of your life because when you see the door you can see the door is closed and it will be. But if you see the door as revolving or automatic 
or unlocked. It will be. It depends on how you want to create it. Right? Mm -hmm. Awakening genius. This is this genius within you, this wisdom. This inner wisdom. Have a look at the Gemini video. This came up in that too. So that might be, uh, there may very well be a message in there for you. But there's this flower again. She's coming out of this flower here. She has. She has risen up out of this flower. It's like this evolving. Um, where is that other one? See, and there's this one too. There's all these. There we go. This one's sitting in the same position. Oh, and just my whole body's like fizzing right now. Goosebumps all over. Definitely go and have a look at this um, Gemini video because, yeah. There is so much more to this. Tell me more about awakening, awakening a genius. Look at this. This has fallen out, but I'm not taking it because I don't like how it came out. But this is the mind being so aware of what's going on, the, on in the mind and how that is a, a polluting your creation, your life, what it is that you're creating here, right? What it is that you're building. Do you want to build something solid? This foundation is not solid. You want to build something solid. So look at your mind. Okay? Look at your mind. Anyway, awakening genius. Because that kind of mindset is also not going to allow this genius to awaken. Okay? Right. <laughs> transformation. Transformation into this whole beautiful, beautiful life. That you can create okay that will bring you everything that you ever dreamed of everything that you wished of because the last key here, I'm getting too excited the last card here is wish upon a star right when you awaken this genius this wisdom when you tap into that Virgo boy oh boy you can do anything right it is what it is you have this genius within you to awaken, to allow out. You stop suppressing, right? Take the armor off, let go of the projections, transmute that energy. When you wish upon a star, wow, the world is your oyster. Okay, so two cards. Second to last one had to go on the floor. Let me go and grab it. Okay, yep. Yeah. Not surprised that went flying the way it did. Travelling, travelling this path. Travelling, travelling a path that hasn't been travelled by many before. You have the end in mind. You have the end in sight. But it's how you're going to get there. It's, you know, it's it's the old saying of it's not the destination, it's the journey that matters. It's, it's actually true. It's true. How are you going to journey along this path, right? Abundantly. <laughs> right? This guy here, he doesn't travel any old how. He's on a magic carpet that he has created for himself. He's making the magic carpet move. Everyone else gets a, a mat or a piece of carpet and is like, how does he do that? I don't even know. Mine won't even budge. It's not real. You can't do that. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Right? It is what it is. Awaken the genius within and wish upon that star. And you will travel through your life in a way that you never believed possible. Okay? 
but it really is this trusting and surrendering, right? How can I deepen my trust right now? Okay, this is the key here I feel for you, right? As well as this here. Am I in my head or my heart? Okay, so opening up to everything to come in so that you can create this amazing wish for yourself okay okay Virgo I'm gonna leave that with you oh how exciting how exciting right I'm oh, sorry I'm not gonna leave that with you because I just want to say to where does my soul want to travel right this is about the journey yeah this is how you can travel it so it's not just where do you want to travel it's how do you want to travel and how will you make that possible what will you do about that? Okay, now I'm done. Okay, Virgo, take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.